estimate was that even if Africa were to actually use all its gas natural resources that has been discovered and to be discovered, our emission will still be below 5%. People told you, climate change actions, we're going to help you fund these things. There's $100 billion on the table that we can use. We've been asking, where is that money? Is it going to be a loan? Or is it a grant? Who's going to give it? If it's a loan, what are the terms? Aren't those terms simply just going to be put me backwards? Because suddenly, I am so burdened with these loans that I have to pay back. So it looks as if really our partners at times will take Africa's challenges for granted without really fully understanding what we are actually having with and what our challenges are. They will then prescribe what we need to do. That is not fair, it's not just. The climate justice thought also focuses on the following six points. And this is loss in damage. We are calling on loss in damage now. We are calling on development countries to cut emissions. We are also asking for those pledges that have been made that, that the climate pledges will be um, honored. And we are also calling for a just transition for Africa. We are also asking on special needs and circumstances. And we are asking for an accelerated, fast, um, fast tracking for frontline communities so that we are able to mitigate climate change.